hello friends today we will discuss fifth problem in isometric projection that is a square prism base side 40 mm and height 50 mm is placed centrally on a cylindrical slab of diameter 100 mm and thickness 30 mm draw the isometric projection of the combination here the combination of solids he has given you is one is square prism another one is cylindrical slab the square prism base side is 40 mm and height is 50 and cylindrical slab diameter is 100 mm and thickness is 30 mm this is the problem what he has given you i will show you the orthographic view of the above set problem this is the orthographic view here xy line above the xy line it is vp below the x y line it is hp vp is always seen from front view hp is always seen from top view see here the diameter of the cylindrical slab is 100 mm you can see is the top view and thickness of the cylindrical slab is 30 mm you can see in front view and the square prism base side is 40 mm you can see 40 mm in the top view and height of the square prism is 50 mm we can see in the front view okay this is the orthographic view of the above set problem now let's do the construction of this problem now before starting now let's construct a cylindrical slab see the cylindrical slab diameter is 100 mm that means sides is 100 mm now at any convenient distance draw an horizontal line here from this reference from this reference and call this as A from this A towards my right hand side 10 boxes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, and towards my left 10 boxes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. See, so towards my left hand side 10 boxes, towards my right hand side 10 boxes. You can measure once again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Again from here 10 boxes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Again from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, we have constructed the rhombus. We have constructed this rhombus. And here, now cylindrical slab base circle iso circle i am going to construct here for that i have given notation a here and i will write here b c and d i will find out midpoint of a and b that is 10 boxes means 100 mm that is 50 mm that is 5 boxes 1 2 3 4 5 again here in between b and C 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five. Okay. I'll give the notations here. This one as 1, 2, 3, and this one as 4. I'll join a to 2 very thin lines 
a to 3 again from here c to 4 again 1 to c okay after this i take the compose then from a to the length 3 a to 3 measure the length and cut an arc touches 2 ok same way from C 4 to 1 ok same way from here that if you want you can give the notation this as O O1 from here 3 to 4 and again from here O1 to 2 We have constructed the isocircle of cylindrical slab base side. Now, the height of the cylindrical slab is 30 mm. So, you can see here that is thickness of the cylindrical slab is 30 mm. Now, from each corner, from each corner. I will move three boxes upwards one, two, three. You see, one, two, three. Again, from here, one, two, three, one, two, three. Again, from here, one, two, three. Again, from here, one, two, three. 2 3 then join the top end points Points you join now. You give the notation this as P Q R S. Yes. Now, on the top side, again you construct an isocircle of cylindrical slab. Now, here the midpoint of P and Q, the overall length is 100 mm, that is 10 boxes, the midpoint will be 50 mm, that is 5 boxes. 1 2 3 4 5 you can see 1 2 3 4 5 then again here 1 2 3 4 5 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 again 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 okay now I will give the notations this one as 5, 6, 7, 8. Now from P to 6 to draw a line. Again P to 7 draw a line. Again from R to 8 draw a line. Again R2 by we'll draw one more line. The same procedure what we have done in the bottom face, same we are going to do it in the top face also. See again what I will do from the end point P to 7. I will measure the length P to 7 and I will cut an arc. Okay. Same way from R. The same measurement 
from 7 to 5. Again, I'll give this one as O dash and this one as O1 dash and then from O dash for 10 or 7 to 8. same procedure from O1 to 5 to 6 then after this to draw the tangent line which is top face and the bottom face see now we have constructed the cylindrical slab see we have constructed the cylindrical slab of diameter 100 mm and thickness 30 mm over the cylindrical slab the square prism is placed the square prism base side is 40 mm and height is 50 mm now we can see it. this is the base side of the square prism base side is 40 mm 40 mm I have written here when you see from top view you can see here it looks like a square from the center towards your right it is 20 mm towards your left it is 20 mm top again it is 20 and also bottom is 20 the square of 40 mm now in this problem I will draw an horizontal line from Q to S, Q to S, and vertical line from R to P. R to P. I'll draw vertical line from R to P and Q to S. You can see this line. Don't get confused. If you want, you can make it dark. But for better visibility, I'm making dark. But in the exam, you should do all in thin lines. These are all construction lines. See here, from the center, see from the problem. Towards the right hand side 20, left hand side 20, top side 20, bottom side 20. Overall, base side of the square prism is 40 mm. See here, from your center, towards the right 20, that is 1, 2, boxes 1, 2. And this will be the point and again towards your left one two this will be the here one two this will be the point again one two this will be the point again one two this will be the point now you join these points Now you can see here square prism base side 40 mm we have constructed and over that the height of the square prism is 50 mm see here 50 mm you can see in front view now from each corner of the base side square prism I will move 5 boxes 1 2 3 4 5 here again from here 1 2 3 4 5 and make a reference over here to avoid confusion again from here 1 2 3 4 5 again from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. See? 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव अगेन फ्रॉम यर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव ना यू जॉन टॉप एंड पॉइंट्स ऑफ द लाइफ Now, almost we have come to the end of the problem. We have written all the lines. But now we have to write which are visible lines. Now for that, I'll use the sketch pen. See, I'll start from the top. This is visible. is visible and this is visible and this is visible this vertical line is visible again from this and this vertical line is visible again this is also visible see this is also visible see see a portion of the of the cylindrical slab is visible see See, you have to use K pencil in your exam while doing. Make it dark using the pencil for better visibility. I am using sketch pen. Okay, this completes the problem. Okay, thank you very much.